Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to my channel. I am Nikki Cakes. This is week four of the hair growth challenge. Since having extensions, I am limited to what I can do to my hair. So for the first three weeks of the challenge, I've been focusing on my scalp. This week, I'm adding a moisture ingredient to my regimen. If you read the title, then you already know, I am showing how I make Shebe butter. To make a good quality product, you gotta have good quality ingredients. If you know Shebe, then you know it's an ingredient that is used in Africa to lock in moisture, which will help to grow your hair, minimize breakage, shed in, and to help thicken your hair strands. The Shebe butter recipe starts with one and a half tablespoons of Shebe powder from Sahel Cosmetics. That is the only Shebe powder I use. Feel free to use whatever Shebe you like, but this is the best quality for me. The link to purchase the powder is in the description box below. One fourth cup of hemp seed oil, one tablespoon of neem oil, one tablespoon of pumpkin seed oil, one fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil. I selected these oils as they are naturally thick, heavy, fatty oils that were really locking the moisture to your hair. But of course, you guys can use any oil that's available to you that your hair likes. I will infuse the oils with the Shebe powder by placing it in a hot bath. The metal pot rester thing that I have here is going to allow the dry to sit properly in the pot without hitting direct heat. I leave it on medium heat for about one hour, and in the meantime, I have 75 ml or 2.67 ounces of organic unrefined shea butter. And I also will be adding my favorite Jamaican black castor oil butter that is mixed with coconut oil. Just straight Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil. I'm using one tablespoon of that. This gets fixed in a double boil method. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get back to the Shebe oil. So after one hour, you strain the mixture in a glass bowl using a cheesecloth or a stocking cap. I personally prefer to use a stocking cap because I can just go ahead and toss it away because you don't wanna to have to be washing this out. It is very hard to wash out, trust me. In my opinion, this is the best way to create a Shebe infused product because you really don't want all those nitty bits and pieces to be stuck in your hair, especially if you're not doing the traditional application. Once the butter is melted, I add one and a half tablespoon of the Shebe oil mixture, then this goes off to the freezer for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now that the butter is solid, I use my electric hand mixer to whip it up. After about seven minutes, I'm good on this texture and you can see it's smooth and clear. This gets transferred into a glass jar and stored in a cool place. To begin my regimen, I start with my scalp first using my hibiscus hair juice. Since I already filmed this recipe, the link is in the description box for you guys to check out.
Then I oil my roots with the hair oil mix. Before applying the shabby butter, I want my braids to be damp so my hair can really absorb it much better. And also please don't forget, this butter is not for your scalp and also the oil is not for your scalp. Shebe is never to touch your roots, it's only for your hair strands. And it can definitely clog your pores if you do put it on your roots and you really do not want that. So most of you know, as I mentioned in the previous hair growth challenge videos, I tend to my hair three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now, since I'm adding Shebe to my regimen, my braids are getting old, plus my scalp, as you can tell, it's need of a good shampoo. So for the next week or week five, my braids should be coming out, which I'm very excited about. So that wash routine will be filmed and you guys will see what I'm going to be doing next. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy the Chevy butter recipe. Let me know if you make it. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.